Hey everybody, so I have a little bit of extra time here, so I figured I would go ahead and take the transaxle that came on the John Deere 212 that I parted out in one of the earlier videos and see what exactly happened to this transaxle that caused it to malfunction. As you can see right here, there's a pretty big crack in this side of the case. Um, the transaxle wouldn't generally go into gear. When it did, it wouldn't move. Sometimes when it was supposed to be in neutral, it was in gear. Um, so I think there's probably quite a bit of damage inside of this thing. So what I want to do now is just pull it apart and see what it looks like inside. Uh, hang on to it just to see if maybe there would be a few spare parts that I could keep. As you can see, I already took the hubs off and I threw those in a box for spares. Uh, there might be a few other parts here that if they're good, I'll keep for their spare, spare parts for mine. So I'm not real familiar with how one of these comes apart. So I'm just going to start taking the parts off as it looks like it should come apart and see what happens. Like I said, it's pretty well toasted, so I'm not real concerned if I, you know, I don't plan on putting this back together or anything like that. So my objective here is just to see, you know, what caused it to fail, how bad the damage is, and get any spare parts that are still good.
Okay guys, so I'm done tearing this transaxle apart and I think I found what's wrong with it. Uh, if we look real close here, you can see a big chunk of metal missing out of that pinhole. And um, I'm no expert on transaxles, but I think that's where the shift fork attached. And I think what may have happened here is there was a problem with the shift fork allowing the transaxles to get into two gears at the same time. And that caused enough stress where something had to give and unfortunately it looks like it was that point right there. But uh, fortunately everything else looks really nice and there's no damage to any of the gears or anything like that. So I could probably get another case half and, and actually put this thing back together if I knew how to do it, but I don't. So um, what I might do is set all these parts aside and make that a future project where I uh, teach myself how to rebuild a transaxle. So there you have it. That's what's wrong with it. Thanks for watching.